first one is a platitude that gets used all the time, but people still don't get it. And that is that death is a natural process. I have been to palliative care conferences with leading experts in the field standing at a podium saying, if I die, this is what I would like to have happen. Listen to that phrase. If I die. See, palliative care people don't die because they're needed. And so only, only people who are not needed die. And so palliative care people will live forever. That just doesn't make sense. So of course death is a part of the natural process. My mother died, almost died in January of 1980. Uh, she was given hours to live. I flew in from Quebec City where I was studying. My father was at the hospital. She wasn't expected to live the night. Um, she then woke up and lived another three months. Um, and so we weren't told, we didn't expect that, we didn't know what was happening. But because we didn't understand what a natural process was, we never knew when she was process. We had to ask people. And I asked doctors and I had to ask nurses, how do I know because well, I'm not <clears throat> by how do I know when she's dead? And they said, oh you'll know dear, it's like falling in love. It's amazing how many people call me dear before I met my wife. Um, and all of them were in healthcare sadly. Um, as opposed to say like girlfriends. Um, <laughs> how many of you have fallen in love before? Okay. Do you remember the exact moment when that happened? Of course not. It doesn't happen at exact moment. And dying and death doesn't either. My mother was supposed to be dead by morning. She lived another three months. People can stop breathing for two or three minutes. And everyone thinks they've died and then they start breathing again. If you don't know that that's normal, that scares the eewee jeebies out of people. We need to know it's a natural process and there are actually predictable things to look for. Skin color, under the nails, breathing, uh, different kinds of breathing that you might experience, coldness, warmth, all those things. People need to know that. No one would tell me those signs. And so I, until I begged a nurse at 10 o'clock at night who lived in the same building that I did, I said, someone's got to tell me how I'm going to know when my mother dies. Can you? And she said, you can't tell anybody I told you. This is 1980. So it's, for some of us, it's a long time ago. It's only 27 years ago and it was kept a secret. It doesn't make sense. So an assumption is that death is a natural process and we should be helping people understand it.